All right, so for another example, um, we can look at the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over x. So you probably recognize you know, this y equals 1 over x. This is a kind of a standard hyperbola that you would have seen uh, among the various functions that you would learn how to graph in high school. Um, and so you probably know from there that this is a function that does have both vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Um, now, as far as talking about limits involving infinity, here we see that we run into a problem, right? Unlike the, the previous example we looked at where we approach positive infinity from both sides, um, here we notice that that 1 over x is less than 0. If x is less than 0, right? And it's bigger than 0 if x is bigger than 0, OK? So we have the opposite sign on either side of the, of the y-axis, right? Uh, in fact, we can, we can say a little bit more if you like to use this language. Um, f of x equals 1 over x um, is an odd function, OK? Right? So values on either side are sort of equal but opposite, OK? And, and so if we want to talk about the limit as x approaches 0, well, it doesn't exist, right? This doesn't exist. Right. So even allowing for limits that are infinite, uh, the limit doesn't exist in this case simply because the right-hand limit and the left-hand limit are not the same. Right? We know that in order for a limit to exist, even for an infinite limit to exist, the left and right-hand limits have to agree. Right? So what we can say in this case at the very least, we can say that the the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of f of x is plus infinity. The limit as x approaches 0 from the left of f of x is minus infinity. Um, and if you wanted to give one of these sort of formal um, you know, given n, find a delta proof. If you wanted to do it in this case, um, well, you can take your delta to simply be 1 over n, and it's going to do the job, right? It's a rather simple function. Um, it's a good exercise to try writing it up if you're curious, and plus you get some practice using the limit definition for one-sided limits. Um, so even though the limit doesn't exist, we can at least say something about the one-sided limits, right? We can still say that the right-hand limit is infinity, we can still say that the left-hand limit is minus infinity.